Welcome to Williams Stadium on the campus of Liberty University, Lynchburg, Virginia. Today, Big South Conference football, Liberty hosting 20th ranked Coastal Carolina. It's the conference's most intense rivalry. Flames quarterback is number 10, Mike Brown, the only player ever in the 10 years of the Big South Conference to hit 1,000 yards passing, 1,000 yards rushing, and 1,000 yards receiving. He's coming off a career best 363 yards passing on the win over Gardner Webb last week. This season he's completing 67% of his passes, but he's banged up a little bit, nursing several injuries. He is the Big South Conference Offensive Player of the Year, and he hands off to Holloway on first down across midfield. 30, 20, only one man close to him, and pulls him down at the six-yard line. Sir Chauncey Holloway, the junior from Sefter, Florida, with the outstanding run on first down. It was Josh Norman who saved the touchdown. 58-yard run for Holloway. The Flames first and goal from the six. Wow, touchdown. Zone and the flame strike in the first 20 seconds. Mike Brown had 363 yards passing, 22 of 30 last week. It was a career high yardage total for him in the win over Gardner Webb. So the Flames are 1 0 to start the season on uh, conference play. And Brown has the first down at the 11 yard line. Brown now four rushes for 28 yards and, of course, the one TD. Flames are in the red zone. Hand off. Allen. Touchdown. Altrakis Allen scores Liberty's second rushing touchdown of the game. We've only played five minutes and eight seconds, and Liberty's on top 13-0. Second down 10 for the Flames. B.J. Hayes in motion. Brown back at quarterback. Hands it off to Allen. 30, 25-yard line, 16-yard gain on first, on second down. So this one will be from one yard out. Mike Brown in the shotgun formation, and he's going to be the one. Touchdown, untouched. Mike Brown scores his second rushing touchdown of the game. First and goal for the Flames, Mike Brown, who has two rushing touchdowns already in this game. And it's a touchdown for Aldrakis Allen, his second touching, uh, rushing touchdown of the game. And the Flames are scoring at will. Liberty's offense, just unbelievable right now. This is just power, sheer power. You hand it off, you have your big dogs up front blocking. Aldrakis Allen takes it in for the score. Coastal was trying to go without a huddle here, trying to get something going quickly. Uh, looked like to me the officials held it up as they set the chains. Fumble, the Flames have recovered. The Flames have recovered. Paco Barral picks up this fumble off the turf. That's his second fumble recovery of the game. By the time Paco Barral got there, the ball just bounced right into his hands. Quick pressure. Look how quickly the Flames defense get to the ball carrier. They're going to box the handoff. And watch this. Right there he has it. Lifts the ball up. Not sure why he's going up. Apparently two flames are fighting for the ball. And then Barral has it. And the third turnover. That's unbelievable. And just a miscue as uh, Aramis and his running back collided. Second down, about 13. Brown wants to throw. Looking to Summers. Caught inside the 15-yard line. Another Liberty first down. Chris Summers with the catch. Mike Brown, first and goal. Rice, touchdown. He and Grant Jones five on the way out. They were teammates at Liberty Christian Academy. They've had a lot of those hugs over their career and a lot more ahead of them, I'm sure. Let's take another look at it. Desmond Rice playing Superman. That's a pretty good jump. Score, Liberty now at 34 to nothing. Flames 314 yards of total offense here in the first half. That is unbelievable. Mike Brown. Wants the throw, looking downfield, caught, touchdown! Number 48, Peter Gagliardi, the fullback. 32-yard touchdown. Mike Brown, 
got hammered as he let that ball go, and it's like he couldn't have thrown it any better. Aldrekis Allen picks up a nice block for him. Brown gets hit right here, but look at this ball. Right into Gagliari. He doesn't even break a stride. So instead of a field goal attempt, it's third down, about five. Hillary looking to the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. David Bennett is joining us right now, head coach for Coastal Carolina. And coach, a difficult first half, but you were able to get a score there on the board right at the end of the quarter. Yeah, it was an uh, embarrassing first half for us. Uh, but, you know, we played about as bad as we could play, kept turning it over, kept turning it over. And then, you know, usually if we turn it over, our defense will find a way to stop them. But that's as embarrassing half for us. But, again, we're going to find out what our young men are made of here in the second half. They, uh, and then not much you can say about that. Again, we played our worst. They played their best. You know, they're probably thinking this ball game's over. And hopefully we're going to see if our guys got a lot inside to them. Coastal really playing well here in the third quarter. Aldrakis Allen, 40, 45, 50. Across the 45 into the 47. Aldrakis Allen with an outstanding return. It could not have come at a better time. Miles Rankin actually tackled him, but great return for Allen. Mike Brown at quarterback. Hand off. Allen, 15, 10. Out of bounds inside the 10 yard line to the six. So everybody's thinking Desmond Rice over the top right now. Let's see if the Liberty does. It's Rice. Touchdown. So the Flames take it over. 32 yard line on that punt. Mike Brown over the middle. It's complete. Up to the 50 yard line. Nice catch. Out of the backfield, Peter Gagliardi, and the Flames pick up 16 yards on first down. First down, 10. Brown wants to throw. Looking way downfield. Wide open is Pat Kelly. He's going to go toward the end zone, and he is going to score. I don't know how Pat Kelly got that wide open. It took Mike Brown a few seconds to find him as he was under a lot of pressure. 50-yard strike from Mike Brown to Pat Kelly. Well, Pat Kelly had one guy to beat, and he does a nice job of doing that. See Mike Brown, he's under, under some pressure, rolls out, sees, holds up, squares his shoulders. Now he sees Pat Kelly all up. Watch this. He's going to try to go to the outside, sees another man, cuts it back inside. And then it's just a score, and that's on the All-American, Josh Norman. Yeah, that was the surprise. But Liberty, obviously, the Flames were not surprised by it. They oh, it is it. blocked. It's blocked into the end zone. Pratilla is there. He's got it. Touchdown. Liberty special teams comes up with a touchdown on the block punt. Pratilla, Bobby Pratilla, redshirt freshman, falls on it in the end zone. 